Hi, this is St. Jerome of Crypto Experiences bringing you yet another crypto experience. Today, I'm going to present my top 15 predictions for next year. The first 10 will be somewhat serious, and the last five will be kind of kind of uh, for fun. So if you follow along with me here today. Uh, and the first one I have is, I believe, now this is not financial advice. This is just my opinion, okay? But I believe that there is going to be a big uh, bull run here in the near future. But it's going to be kind of a bull trap, and and they're going to, coins are going to shoot up high. A lot of new, newbies will get in, but then I believe we're heading towards a big crash, and I think everything's going to crash, especially stocks are going to crash and go down. Uh, today was supposed to have been a big day, the twenty sixth of uh, December, according to Bull Pony. Uh, I didn't check stock market, but I think towards the beginning of the year we're going to see. Uh, stocks, fiat currency, take a dive. And I think cryptos will take a dive for a while too. Some people are saying precious metals will di dive also for a while, but I don't see that in the long run. Then what do I think? I think then the most historic bull run will happen after that, where you may see things like Bitcoin blasting off to new heights. You see its little brother Litecoin blasting off to new heights. I believe that's going to. I believe that's going to happen, but that's just my opinion. So we're. I think uh, it's going to be a big rebound year for cryptos. Uh, speaking of that, I think this crypto is going to rebound. Now, uh, this particular crypto uh, is very going to be very useful in the future. And can you guess what it's going to be? No, I'm not a devil. I am thinking of a theta bull run. Theta was way down there when it first came in at just pennies, like two cents, four cents. And it shot up to, I think, about $15. And as a Theta holder, I said, wow, I'm going to wait. I think it's going to go higher. Well, Jay Snips was saying, no, it's going to go down. And uh, Joe ended up being right. It, it went down to, what, about 50 cents or so? And now it's been, it's had a good run here the last uh few uh, weeks, but I think here's my prediction for next year. I believe Theta will hit the $5 mark once again and by the end of the year. It's uh, going to be used to reroute the internet through uh, open uh, space on everyone's computers, and then you get rewarded with Theta Fuel. So it's got such a system. You got Theta, you got Theta Fuel, you got Theta Drop. Theta is the software that runs the system. Theta Fuel is your reward in cryptocurrency. And then they have added Theta Drop as a third, and that's used a lot in the NFTs that run Theta. Uh, Theta can do a lot of things that the other coins can do, too. It's particularly uh, had Theta TV for a while, and I think they'll come back with something like that. There's some big companies invested in Theta, like uh, Google, uh, Samsung. Uh, I think Amazon's getting into Theta, so they have uh, validator nodes, uh, which help to uh, verify the the chain. If you have a thousand theta, you can stake on the chain. And I think uh, 10,000 theta fuel. Uh, lately, G pool quit staking theta fuel. So if you were using G pool to stake, you'll have to find somewhere else. And I, I've got a little bit staked. I need to find someplace else for G pool. My next prediction uh, has uh, started by. Bitcoin Ben, uh, I met Bitcoin Ben uh, several years ago, and he helped me get into Divi. I had a, a Divi node, and I said, oh, my gosh, it rode right up to 16 cents. Wow. And then it went way down. So uh, it's not even a penny now. I think it's about 0 0.005 cents. So, But I think we're going to see a resurgence of Divi, um, I think it's going to go up to maybe two cents this year. So that's my prediction. If that's the case, uh, I may kind of exit and get out. Um, I did take a little profit, which uh, was good. That I could hear Snippy applauding me in the background. Um, so I took a little profit, and uh, that was good. And I, I kind of broke even. But boy, if I hadn't have done that, I would. I've been down a little bit. Yeah. So anyway, uh, Ben's a big proponent of Divi, and he is. I saw on a podcast the other day. He said it's going to go to a dollar this year. Wow, I think that's a little optimistic. But boy, that'd be nice if it did it quick and after the crash. 
My prediction number four is that scammers will make millions of dollars in assets from newbies in the cryptocurrencies. It's just like the scams just get worse and worse and worse. So uh, I don't know why I picked this picture. Huh. Reminds me of something about Lobster Wallet and that people are making fake assets and then others were investing in those fake assets thinking they were real because they're being pumped by people. I don't know, something like that. So watch out for scammers. My prediction, next prediction is that, this is prediction number five, that the ISO 222 tokens will skyrocket as they re help replace the Swiss system. We've talked before on my videos at Ripple Labs XRP is the currency, not the labs. Uh, it will be used to move money, I should say assets, between big entities. And then Stellar is going to be used to uh, move um, different assets between smaller ent ent entities. Um, I think I heard MoneyGram in Argentina was going to use Stellar. So they've got a new president down there, President Malay in Argentina. We'll see this take off. So as BRICS comes into power, uh, they're going to dump the Swiss system. That's the one it has now. Old and clunky with all sorts of middlemen. And now it's going to go zap. You make a trade. And it's a smart contract. And use XRP. And poof, it's over there in a few seconds. And everybody's happy. And you can't cheat the trade. Well, my next prediction, this is prediction number six. And remember, folks, this is not financial advice. This is just what I think is going to happen. Kind of leaning on Cliff High, and uh, I noticed that Cliff High's web bots a lot of times are off uh, a year or two. So he was predicting over $100,000 for this particular asset in value. And, you know, if the, if, the, if the value of the dollar is not very high, well, maybe that's not that, that big a deal. But I would take it right now anyway. So... My sixth prediction is that Bitcoin will reach new highs. Now, I'm going to say it'll reach 70,000. I believe the previous high was 60,000. Cliff had as much as 100,000. So uh, I think that's pretty much uh, reasonable there. So that's my sixth prediction for 2024. My seventh prediction of 2024 is that our fiat system is going to crash. If you listen to uh, Jim Willie. Uh, U.S. Treasury bonds are out of hand, and they're not not—they're being bought by the Federal Reserve, and uh, nobody wants them, and all the BRICS countries are dumping them little at a little. Now, Operation Sandman was going to be all the BRICS nations dumped them all at once, but it looks like it's going to be like more of a slow drop of those things. So, uh, yeah, Federal Reserve notes, soon to be worthless. But my prediction is that we will, after uh, a dark time, I don't think it's going to be long. I think more measured in weeks or, or a couple months versus like years. Uh, we're going to rebound with a currency backed by assets. Now, there's rumors that we end up going someplace and getting uh, like over 500 uh, plane loads of gold. So I think that gold is going to be used to back a lot of currencies around the world and get us back on a true um, a true value-based system now some people may some countries may not use gold but they may use other precious minerals that they have so but that is my prediction and that was let me check my list again that was prediction number seven well my prediction number eight is that paper wallets and will become very popular so many scams and going on now with different wallets ledger had another problem and i think if you are careful you would have been okay through all that but yeah it's getting a little uh, hairy out there people had uh, wallets hacked on uh, different exchanges so you need to get your keys in your own hand there's a lot of good wallets out there uh, you know i like exodus uh, cake wallet's got a good rep um i've had good luck with strike so far but yet if it's on a, a website or another place you don't have control of it so what's the safest wallet to hold it's a paper wallet, right? If you do it right. Uh, I've never made one. I've seen them made. I have a couple that Bix Weir made and passed out to his subscribers, of which I'm proud to be one. But I am a, a sponsor of uh, or an affiliate of Ballet Wallets, and they're kind of a fancy paper wallet, but they're pretty darn fancy. So I have a mock-up behind me here 
I think paper wallets and ballet wallets will become much more popular. Uh, if you get interested in a ballet wallet, uh, I have a discount code down below. I, I appreciate those who have recently uh, purchased those. Um, and so ballet wallet, it looks like this. Now there's an outside sticker that's not shown here that has your public key. What's being shown is the inside where you have part of your private key. And then down below, you see the scratch phrase has been scratched off. So you get that public key, someone hits your scanner or they can copy the code below and they send uh, whatever currency you choose to that wallet. And then when you go to send it, you use the app that's with uh, ballet and you put as part of your code underneath the sticker and the other part, the passphrase down below. Recently is the first time I actually sent some out of Ballet Wallet because I bought some ordinals and worked like a charm. Very good job on it. So very impressed with the Ballet Wallets. Uh, again, I warn everybody, there's one downside with paper wallets or Ballet Wallets. If you lose them or they get destroyed, you lost your currency if you didn't write the, didn't write the inside down. So uh, be careful about that. That's a, a nudge that Ballet has over the paper wallets. They're more durable. And they can, they're going to withstand, uh, as long as you don't get caught in a fire, they have to withstand a lot of things, probably even a flood, if uh, they're not submerged too long. So, uh, And you can put them in fireproof material, put them in a, a nice fireproof safe. Um, I wouldn't carry a lot of money around in one in your wallet, even though you could carry some. Uh, you might want to use like uh, an Exodus wallet or something for that. So uh, that was my uh, ace prediction. Paper wallets, Valley wallets become much more popular. My ninth prediction of 2024 is that Caleb and Brown is uh, will become one of the most dependable platforms there is. Now, there's been, a, there's been like scammers out here pretending to be Caleb and Brown and gave them a bad rep, but it isn't Caleb and Brown. They, they've been great, and they're a great place to invest with. Now, I do have that discount code down below for these guys, so I favorable to them. I got hacked about a year and a half ago, and they were awesome, and that lost no assets at all. I really appreciate what they did. They, they'll they go way out of their way for the small guy, the small investor like me, and they, and they treat you, the small investor, just like a big investor, and they only charge like uh, – if you use my code 3.5%, which is, is nothing, but you know, where do they make their money on the big guys? Right. But on this little guy, they'll say, dang, you get a broker and you're only paying 3.5%. You go to a, a Bitcoin ATM, you're liable to play 30%. No kidding. Check some of those out sometimes. So that is my, I believe I said my ninth prediction. My 10th and final serious prediction is that uh, more people are going to seek privacy. And uh, I listened to Health Ranger the other day, and I said, you know, Monero's got a lot of uses. So here is a hacker, but uh, he's staying underneath the radar. And there's a symbol for Monero. So it, I guess it originally was called Bit Monero, and they dropped the Bit part, which Bit Monero would be like Bit Money, Bitcoin, and I... Uh, accidentally said it was a fork of bitcoin but it was not it's not a fork of bitcoin uh, i believe the beginning year is 2014 so it's been going very well it's a privacy coin they they shoot a bunch of possible addresses psh, over this way they shoot a bunch of keys psh, to unlock it and when they do all that psh, right you can't tell where it came from so uh, i wouldn't suggest this because you know who would do such a thing but i heard the people could possibly, you know, get in one currency, go in Monero, and come out another currency. It seems like you wouldn't be able to trace that at all. So, uh, yeah, Monero's got uh, seems to be the number one privacy coin. There are some other ones too. Um, one thing I didn't, uh, I found out like Caleb Brown didn't support any privacy coins, huh? So, uh, I know one place you can get. Monero and probably get it pretty easily. I haven't done that yet, but I will investigate is Cake Wallet. And I don't get paid by Cake Wallet at all. So, but um, they seem to be uh, a good place to get some uh, currency. Who's that handsome man on the right side over there? Here comes my final five for fun predictions. So, leading the way in my fun predictions from my magical internet friends of Litecoin Lisa fame. Uh, there's Clint Westwood in the middle holding up the Litecoin family. 
And here is a Litecoin family. I'm proud to be a member. Uh, over on the right side, we have Pauly P. And in the back is St. Jerome of Crypto Experiences. I see other characters in there like Daniel from uh, Olive and Jay Mack. Uh, who else is it? Litecoin Lisa, of course. Uh, Jason and Mitch. Uh, and uh, just a whole bunch of others there. But anyway, Pauly P., my prediction is, He's going to be the head endorser for a Faraday bag company. And why do I say that? I hope I hope you're going to be able to hear this, but we uh Polly get called a phone I had put in a Faraday bag for a demonstration. And when he called the phone, uh it did not ring. So the Faraday bag cut it off. And this was a message that when I took the phone out that came finally through voicemail and Polly P's message was, was, one more time, his message was, let me out of the bag, sucker. So I hope that came through and said, let me out of the, the, it said, let me out of the bag, sucker. And that was so popular that a Faraday bag company called Bitcoin Darkness, uh, bought out the rights for Polly to endorse their products. So that's my prediction for uh, next year, 2024. My pr next prediction is that Clint Westwood, the handsome man here behind in the Westwood Inn, the Westwood Hangout Man Cave crypto meeting place is going to invest, let's see, He's going to invest in a string of casinos and will become a Litecoin millionaire. Then he is going to open his own Litecoin only casinos. And he promises to give at least 5% back to those who gamble. And here is Clint with Josh of Pebbleton Post, who's uh, taking a hiatus on Pebbleton Post. Uh, Clint says, exit the casino and go to Litecoin. See, he was predicting it even then. So, Exit the Vampire Casino and go to the Clint Westwood Litecoin Casino. My 13th prediction is, and my fun one is, Litecoin Lisa will open a new pay system called VeriPay, powered by Veritasium. Lisa and Charlie, her husband, Lisa Davis and Charlie Davis at Litecoin Lisa, a.k.a., will use their profits to open an online store called Elbay. And you can buy everything with either Dogecoin or Litecoin. Here she was discussing with Doge Man of Doge Loan for future plans, and Doge Man was bringing greetings from the planet Doge Loan and, and some investment crypto, uh, Litecoin and Dogecoin, to invest in her new project. And here they are together discussing such thing. Lisa really liked Doge Man, and she hopes that uh, he will appear again in a future magical internet friends gathering. Prediction number 14 in the fun side. Uh, Big Square will cash in his huge profit in silver and will purchase a Theta validator node and will retire to El Salvador. Once there in his retirement years, he will become very important in El Salvador. Uh, as Bukele gets old, uh, past term, he is going to invite, this is a president of El Salvador, uh, Bukele and he, Nayib Bukele, and he will invite the first time as they amend more laws to their constitution, um, they are going to allow an outside foreigner to become president of the country. And in that country, they will take as legal tender, they'll take Bitcoin, Litecoin, because Litecoin is the right coin, says Bix, Theta, and there's a lot of Theta girls running around in El Salvador. And silver will be the uh, currency that will be used in Bitcoin once the Bix Weir replaces Bukele as president. That's my prediction for 2024. And my fifth and final prediction is Bitcoin Ben and Snippy will pool their crypto and gold profits to secede from Florida and share uh, as governors of the state of Bit Ripple Land. So they both love Ripple so much. I know Ben's a big backer of Ripple. Oh, wait, he said the bank coin. I know Snippy's a big back, backer of uh, the future Ripple. He uh, believes that, and this has been published now, so I can uh, let the secret out. 
Uh, he believes that you it's going to crash down to what? To around 20 some cents. I don't tell you the magic number exactly, but uh, he said uh, Bitcoin is going to rise to $38,000 at, at least. And it did. It went a little higher, went to 44000 And then uh, everything's going to crash and uh, XRP. Uh, which is the real currency, not Ripple, is going to go down from its high now of 20, of 65, 68 cents lately, somewhere around there. But it's going to go back up then at meteoric rise. So uh, so Ben and Snippy down below uh, will be joining uh, the president of El Salvador, Bix Weir, and forming a uh, the first ever uh, new uh, state that includes Florida and El Salvador, and they'll be joined by the future of crypto. So those are my predictions for 2024. The first uh, 10 were legit. Uh, just some, some wild guesses. The last five were fun. So I thank you for coming to my podcast once again. Themes appropriate that I use this as my last slide as it is the day after, after Christmas. And this was a Christmas or so ago. There is St. Jerome over on the left uh, sporting an older style ballet shirt. Uh, and in the background is Litecoin Lisa on the right and Clint Westwood live on air. So thanks, folks. I'm part of the Magical Internet family, uh, Westwood family. I uh, love my, my Magical Internet friends out there. Shout out to all of them. Uh, I had different discounts down below. Uh, if you want to take advantage of them, I've mentioned a couple already. There's there's a few more down there too. Uh, there, I have a link to Clint Westwood's site uh, and uh, visit that. He's got a lot of good links in, just in general. Uh, let's see. And I think that's about it for today. Uh, thank you for watching once again. And I am now going to sign off. I wish you a wonderful 2024 from this side in 2023. Goodbye.